Hi and welcome back to Astronomy. Today we're going to have a short talk about ancient astronomy. So we all know that people before believed in a geocentric model of the universe where the Earth is the center of the universe. That's what we have said. So it is pioneered. This theory was pioneered by two of the most famous philosophers at their time. Well, until now, they are still famous. Plato and his student Aristotle. Okay? So they said that all motions in the heavens must be made up of combinations of circles turning at uniform rates. So before we said that the earth is surrounded by an imaginary sphere, or shall we say a sphere, it's a physical thing for them. And then everything, celestial objects are fixed in the sphere. And Plato said that all those objects must turn at uniform rate or speed, shall we say speed. So basically, murag walay movement kaayo, tanawon, relative sa observer. Kasi they are still turning at the same rate, eh. Di ba? While for his student, Aristotle said that, yeah, the earth is at the center of the universe, but it is also imperfect. Okay? So it has at least 55 spheres that surrounds the earth. And instead of uniform rates, different rates pod. Kasi for him, na ay mga changes sa positions sa mga stars and objects in the spheres. So for him, probably they turn at different rates and angle. So katong mga known nga mga, mga planets before, mga known stars at that time, they must move at different angles and um, speed or rate, di ba? So, but still, they believe that the Earth is the center of the universe. And that, um, that uh, shall we say, explanation or principle or theory has been anchored by what we say as the reasoning from the first principle. Something that is held to be true, and once that principle is acknowledged as true, everything that can be derived from it must also be true. So, diba, uh, diba before, they believe that humans are very special creatures. So, for them, ang mga special yun yung mananap sa unang panahon are the humans. Okay? But we all know that today, humans are just a speck of dust in the universe. Gamay ra kayo tanga portion sa universe. We all know. Karon. But before, they think na uh, they are the self-proclaimed special creatures. And... Of course, it has something to do with the philosophy, the religion, civilizations nila, ing ana ilang tinuohan. And because they think that they are special, more so that they live on earth, so basically, they must also claim that the earth is the center of the universe and everything are focused on humans, on earth. So ing ana ilang principio. And so, Everything must also be explained with that principle. That's why you're reasoning from the first principle. So, geocentrism or katong geo geocentric na to nga model of the universe. So, astronomers believe that the Earth is the center of the universe as, we, as what we have said. So, kanina, we also explained the philosophy behind it. And, of course, there are somehow physical evidence by the astronomers that yeah, the Earth is really the center of the universe. And what? There are no other explanations. Kasi we don't observe parallax. So what is this parallax? It's a displacement. Something like illusion. Na some, uh, when there is a movement or a, uh, the movement of, of the observer... Okay, when there is um, or a change in the position of the observer, then there is also a displacement with that object being observed. Okay, in this uh, example, for in this example, we have this uh, left ni mga arm, okay, left arm, whole stretched nga arm, and then you cover that object using your thumb and you close your right eye. Only the left eye sees that of uh, sees the the environment the surrounding and you can cover that object using your thumb and then if you're going to close your left eye and open the right eye 
there is this apparent displacement of the object because there is a change of position of the observer. In this case, your eyes nga nabalhin in terms of the source of or yeah, the source of the image maraging ana. So, for them, if really the earth moves around the universe or yeah, in the universe, then there should be a movement in terms of the stars, the planets. Okay? Nag-change yung position ni mo as an observer because you're in on earth eh. Pero wala wala na utro ang positions sa stars sa sky so mas na intense or, or mas na support ang ilahang belief of the geocentric nga theory model of the universe however there was this problem kung sama na siya they couldn't explain retrograde motion okay retrograde motion so Planetary motion was a very big problem for them. In fact, okay, the, Greek, the, the word planet came from the Greek word wanderer, referring to the eastward motion of the planets. Okay? In, relative sa iyahang background, which are the universe, katong uh, mga stars, which are really fixed somehow based on their observation, the planets moves eastward. However, dili siya ang anak ka uh, consistent. There are times that uh, a few months or so uh, na ay may times na mubalik ang planet. Mubalik ang planet sa iyahang path. And they couldn't explain that. So they said nga we should seek an explanation. Okay? So that is why as what I have said kanina, because they are already closed-minded with the geocentric model, and that was their first principle, they should reason out for all those phenomena. <laughs> okay? So, nangit na sila pabaagi para ma-explain nila to. But we all know those are wrong explanations. Today. So, here... Claudius Ptolemy augmented what Plato and Aristotle made up of the universe, their explanation. So, for him, to explain that retrograde motion of the planets with respect to geocentric model, since the Earth is the center of the universe, okay, for him, na ay circle that surrounds the Earth, which we call as the deferent, and the planets would follow the path of the different. But instead of just following straight path with respect to sa, sa, sa ways of different, they move in an epicycle nga, uh, movement or motion. So, within that large circle that surrounds the Earth, they slid onto the different in as in an epicycle motion or kanang murag yapon siya circular motion so nag anaana sila and every time in every turn of that epicycle it looks like it goes back to its path and it explains the retrograde motion of the planet of that planet okay so that's how they resolve retrograde motion so, as you could see here in this model, kay Ptolemy nga, Ptolemy nga model sa universe, you can see that the Earth is the center of the universe and the planets that surrounds the Earth follow the different. And in every different, if you can see, each planet must have an epicycle. Okay? And because they loop back on their way, it becomes their perception of the retrograde motion of the planets. So that's how they explain retrograde motion in relation to their belief of the um, geocentric model of the universe. Since their first principle is that, which is the center of the universe is the Earth, so every explanation that comes up with it must also be held true. So ingana. <laughs> 